Um, I'm on my way to the office. I got some work to do. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the Eurasian hair. I wanted to do. I wanted to do like this big photo shoot and do like this big drop, but the way my life is going. Um, um, okay, I could do a small motivational rant, um, because I am a little aggravated. Like, I had breakfast with Story's father, and he fucking aggravates my soul to the depths of my soul. He aggravates me. But, motivational rant is coming, is that I told him that one thing that he taught me from being in a relationship with him is that one thing that he always did what was what what was best for him right and that that's what i took away from a relationship is that I mean you should always do what's best for you because people will always do what's best for them and um and not saying like that's a negative thing because if you don't you know look out for yourself or if you don't have the best interest for yourself then who will right and i told him that. i said you always make looked out for you you always do what's best for you no matter what right no matter who it crossed no matter who it hurt no matter no matter what happened to the other person or the other situation you always chose you and i necessarily saying like I would choose me in, in the interim of fucking over somebody else. But I always keep in mind myself when a lot of times, you know, they always say like the nice guy finished last. Yeah, the nice guy finished last because everybody else was looking out for themselves. And then the nice guy was looking out for everybody. So, of course, he's going to finish last because nobody was looking out for him. You know what I mean? So, he had to finish last. You're too busy looking out for everybody else that a lot of times, like, people don't save, save enough for you. Or you don't save enough, you know what I mean, for yourself. And I told him, like, you know, like, when I was going through post postpartum depression and I was in the bed. And, like, you know, I always talk about my business doing very well. But my business was failing. I was not showing up. My business could not thrive and succeed if you don't if you don't show up and I literally was not showing up and this is me being very transparent and you got out the bed and you went and you showed up for your business you didn't try to help me get out of the bed you didn't tell me like mean you need to get up like you know what I mean of course you didn't you didn't you didn't tell me to stay in the bed neither you were indifferent you got up and did what was best for you and that right there showed me like I Ming, mean, if you don't try to do what's best for you you'll be here and your business will sink and you will be back here to figure it out so i said all that to say that um i'm working on more so on putting myself first and you know doing what's best for me and sometimes it's so hard because it's it's often labeled as being selfish and it's off it's often labeled as being inconsiderate i'm gonna put on some eye cream it's often labeled as all of these things when yeah but that's what everybody else is doing so if you don't do it you end up with nothing like you know what i mean like i always say like i thought about it, like what if you had ten dollars right and 11 people asked you for one you'll be in debt and if I, all i need is just one dollar you have ten all i need is just one dollar you have ten it's eleven of you motherfuckers so if i gave all eleven of y'all a dollar i would be minus one and so like you know and that's the um that's the that's that's when you gotta say like you know learning to say no and uh, for me, like, I say no and then I feel guilty, right? Like, I feel like 
just guilty or bad or sometimes like when I stand my ground or I set my boundaries for people and things and it does not benefit them and they get mad at me I start to feel bad and guilty for setting boundaries or feeling bad and it's like that shit ain't right like you know what I mean like like you like you have to set boundaries like you have to you have to you know what I mean put yourself first and putting yourself first does not mean fuck over people like you know I'm a Virgo um putting yourself first does not mean like you know what I mean do people wrong or nothing it just means that like Make sure you're taking care of you. Make sure that you are taking care of you because that is nobody else's responsibility, right? And a lot of times you get into relationships or you get into friendships with people and you think like it's their responsibility to preserve your happiness. It's their their responsibility to do right by you. And then you think like, oh, like my whole thing used to be like, I would never do that to them. Yeah, but they're not you. So, like, it's almost like I I have to, like, relay messages to myself in scenario-based things because that's how I understand things. And so, it's kind of like, you know, when you get out of the car and you're walking in the store and somebody holding the door for me. And, like, you feel the need to kind of, like, walk quickly or walk faster because somebody's holding the door but it's like i didn't ask you to fucking hold the door like i want to walk slow like let the fucking door go i'll get the door when i get there and it's kind of like it's kind of like that it's like you know it's like i didn't ask you to hold the door but then the person's like well be considerate because i'm holding the door no do what's best for you and let the fucking door go and i'll get the door when i get there and so that's kind of like what um that's kind of like what I'm working on and that's kind of like I mean I'm working on setting boundaries and being okay with the boundaries that I set that's best for me. Because your boundaries don't work for everybody and people will try to make you feel guilty because the boundaries that you set does not align with with their end goal. Your end goal has absolutely nothing to fucking do with me. Like, these are my boundaries. This is what we are doing over here. And either respect it or move the fuck around. Um, and so, that's what I'm working on. So, I don't know if anybody else has problems with, like, boundaries or saying no or putting yourself first but I do and it's like I'm tired of motherfuckers trying to make me feel but set boundaries and do you but my daughter's school just calls I gotta go